Hey everybody. Asshole. What'd you say? Nothing. What'd you say? Cooper, what'd you say? Cooper said you were an asshole. I'm about to beat Power Rangers. You are. What you know about it? Uh, it must be easy then. Who's the asshole now? <laughs> Before I get started though, <laughs> I got a beer. It looks kind of foamy. Yeah, I'd fuck pouring it, but... Uh, what beer do you got? I got Lone, Lone Riders Shotgun Betty, which is a Hefeweizen, which is a German wheat beer. Hefeweizen? Yes, and I really like Hefeweizen. They have kind of a, a Swedish taste to them. I really like it. Uh, what do you think? It's excellent. Excellent. It's really good. Now let me try. Did you get past the phone? Yeah. You should have seen it before I started recording. It was like that much off the cup. It's not enough carbonation. Look at all those bubbles. Not enough carbonation. It's fine to me. It's too smooth. I like the smooth. You know what else I like? I like Jason. Jason, I had a crush on him. I did. Two other swords. That's what he sounded like. Yep. I bet you wouldn't have had a crush on him if he was wearing that outfit right in front of you right now. That's true. I love me. What's up with your red jeans, dog? I love me some red ranger. I like the Red Ranger too. I was uh, upset when the White Ranger debuted and they just all at, like he's the leader now. I'm like, no, no, Jason's still there. He's the leader. And they all just fucking, he just, he kowtowed to him like a bitch. He was like, yeah, man, you're the leader now. It's free, all that stuff though. I don't think this. I can't remember if <coughs> there's any references to the Green Ranger in this game. I know he was in the Sega Genesis game. I guess we'll find out. But that was like a fighting game. So this is a fighting game. No, that was like a it was like a Street Fighter esque fighting game, like Mortal Kombat. Oh, okay. So you see what I'm doing here? You're plunging the putties. This is what you do throughout the whole game. There, there are some stages with like platforming, like some light platforming. We got this game on our first gaming hall video. On our very first one? Yeah, and I was super excited when I saw it, because I like this game. I like music in this game, and I like the look of this game, and I like that it's mad, stupid, broken easy. There's some parts that get tough. There's a boss who teleports a lot, and he's kind of a pain in the butt. Look, what's about, what's about to happen? You're about to see the boss of the level, but you don't fight him now. You don't? Uh -uh. You gotta do something first. Tyrannosaurus! So you see that sprite for the Power Ranger? Yeah. For the Red Ranger? Every other Power Ranger looks just like that. Even the women? Yes. So, I mean, they just have a different color. So they go from being like this petite, small little women to like this jacked up buff dude. And they have a weapon. I think even the the Pink Ranger or Bow and Arrow, you can actually use it. But I never really pay as anybody but the fucking Red Ranger. I'll switch it up for this recording. You know, I don't. I don't know if I play as a Pink Ranger though, because I do believe that her bow is different. You don't like if I remember it. correctly. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not what I'm used to. You can also do a bomb. Uh, I can pick this up. <coughs> and uh, bomb would just kill everything on the screen. Notice I haven't got hit yet. I'm impressed. No, you shouldn't be. You think I could do it? Uh, uh, you could beat this game. I don't know if you can go this long without getting hit, because it's just, it's, I mean, it's all kind of muscle memory at some point. Just went on a shopping spree of some Genesis games. Mm -hmm. It will be in a gaming hall at the end of the month. Yeah, our gaming hall stack is looking pretty good. Yeah, nine games so far. All old games. No 3DS games this month so far. And a lot of Genesis games. Some of them were not inexpensive. Tell everybody what you've been playing lately. 
uh, nothing really. <laughs> I didn't really play anything all week. I did, I did start Metroid uh, Return of Samus, Samus Returns, whatever they... Samus Returns. I did start that for a brief period of time. I mean, like, so I'm like, I'm beating up this car. Uh, I am in like chapter 9 or 8. <coughs> Amino Kuni. And I'm How still. How many chapters are there? I'm not sure. I think there's. Oh, there's a, like there's only two more story trophies, so. I think there's only two chapters left. I'm praying there won't be another skirmish battle, but I'm sure there will be. Because I haven't done any of it since chapter four. So. You don't like the skirmish battles? No, I hate them. And, um. I'm still at the very, very beginning of God of War. I haven't touched since last Saturday. I've got, uh, just got to the witch who lives under the turtle. The witch who lives under the turtle. Great. I've been playing Ever Oasis well when I get the chance. Most days, I'm so exhausted by the time I get home. Like, I try to play it in bed, but I fall asleep. But that, but if I play it during my prime hours, I'm fucking into it. Prime hours? What are your prime hours? My prime hours are... So we can all schedule around you. From 6.30... These are your prime hours right now. I know. It is my prime hours. And Kathy has reserved the right to just leave this recording at any time and start playing something else. That's true. But I'm feeling kind of talkative, so I thought I would sit here with you. I don't know it's now I'm just fighting his head. Do you not see this? He shoots fireballs at me. Oh man. That's kinda weird. Alright, he's dead. Look at what he ran. He passed out. With her eyes open. Remember that password. Three eight four seven. Three eight four seven. Three eight four seven. Alright. Uh go for Billy this time. The nerd? Yep. Apparently he was uh, brutally made fun of on the set for being openly gay. Oh yeah, this is why I don't, really? I don't play as other people because he is brutally? like he he is slow as shit. It looks kind of fat in that jumpsuit. It's not jumpsuit or balls. Whatever. You don't look he's right. Got his, well, he's got his he's got his osh gosh on. It don't look right. I don't think the proportions are right. I'm sure, David Yost would agree with you. He's the actor that played the Blue Ranger. <laughs> his torso seems too long and his legs seem too short. Actually, I don't even think this. his torso is too long. His legs just seem short. Yeah, jump! Ah. I don't know. It could be the thinness, I guess. It doesn't look very thin. He looks especially nerdy with his glasses being blue. He looks especially nerdy with the part run down the middle of his head like a penis. <laughs> That's the problem. I see a lot of problems here. His arms seem too skinny for his clothes. Can you believe a nerd does like a front flip? Jumps nine feet in the air and does a front flip? No. Do you remember Bulk and Skull? Where are they at? Uh, not important enough to make it in this game that they try to make for a budget price and sell to kids. Yeah, I should stay. I gotta stay with the Red Ranger. You don't like this one? They say they just feel different, ever so slightly. It was kind of like that with the Sailor Moon game. Did Mary play the Sailor Moon game when she was here? No, she didn't. I should have told you why you were asleep. Just looked at it. Oh, she should have played it. My sister was here last week. You should check out our video if you haven't. Oh, she played. Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo. It was pretty fun. Yeah, we had to watch it to see uh, Kathy spill coffee on herself. Yeah, that happened. You just never know what's going to happen in these videos. I know what's going to happen. What? This room's hot as shit. No, it's not. It's really comfortable in here. That was Trini's doll from the, the show. Did you like? Mm -hmm. See how different 
or how the same he is. He just has a different weapon. Yeah. Man, one of these years I'm gonna be a Power Ranger for Halloween. I had a um. One year for how, one year for Halloween, I went as like a just a dude in, with a skull mask and like I had an axe, like a plastic axe that had just a piece of plastic, uh, hollow black plastic cylinder for the handle, and it was a piece of shit. So the axe, you know, fell off at some point because I messed around with it because I was a kid. And um, I also had a uh, when I was really really young. A uh, like a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles like costume. Mm -hmm. It wasn't for Halloween. It was just something that you could wear around. You could probably find pictures of it online. But it had like a shell, and it had a mask, and the mask had a turtle nose on it. It was like a little green, just little hump that went over your nose. And um, it, I believe it came with all their weapons. Even though mine was Leonardo, I remember mine being blue specifically. Uh, I remember having uh, Raphael size, like both of them. And there were two little gray pieces of plastic. And I took both of them and stuck them on either end of the 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 axe handle, the the hollow axe handle. Yeah. And that was my weapon that uh, the Blue Ranger had. And it was funny because I remember me and my friend Brandon seeing the previews for the show on Fox, like like commercials for it before the show was even started and I made that weapon before I even saw the show so I didn't know that Billy was like the nerd I just know I saw a weapon that had like a like a trident sort of on both ends and I was like that's cool and I can totally make something like that and I did that's awesome played a lot of Power Rangers in the front yard I'm pretty sure the neighbors thought oh I was crazy oh my gosh I played a lot of Power Rangers in the front yard I watched Power Rangers for way longer than I should have. I watched it... I don't really remember the... what was happening after the second season of characters. You know where they had that kid as the Blue Ranger? That wasn't the second. And, that was like the fourth or fifth. Okay. Like, you were way... Yeah. Second season was like Lord Zed. Well, I've seen that. Well, I'm not talking about seasons. I'm just talking yeah. about the second group of characters. Well, the group second of characters. I remember the Blue Ranger being this like little kid that grew. Yeah. But that was like he wasn't even like they must have been on their third one by then because that might have been one. The Pink Ranger was Australian. Yeah, it was like this pink girl. I remember her name was Catherine. But um, I watched it up until I saw them redebut. Uh, Jason as the Gold Ranger. In the Hell yeah, the Gold Ranger. I can't remember what they even called that series anymore, but the Yeah. The Zords were all shapes. It was at their turbo after they had the cars. And admittedly I didn't watch that much of it. Because that turbo was just kind of a blank spot for me, I guess. But Zeo? Was it Power Ranger Zeo? That kind of sounds familiar. Oh no, they all had shapes like Fucking Jason Devin Frank, the Green Ranger, was still part of it. He was a Red Ranger at this point, and he had a star for his shape. And, and like, the Gold Ranger was originally, like, this alien from another planet who was there. All their species were, like, triplets. But it was just a dude who was, it was just triplets, like, human triplets. And, uh... He had to go back to his home planet, so they let Jason be the Gold Ranger, but he'd only show up in, like, one or two episodes. Oh, man. I kind of want to order the Pink Ranger outfit before we go to Supercon. Because yeah. Amy Jo Johnson's going to be there. Yeah. That would be cool. She, uh, I'm sure she gets a lot of that. I don't care. Fuck, that would be the best picture ever. Best photo op ever. Yeah, I'm sure. There's a billion pictures of women. I don't give a shit. Like, I don't give a shit. You should find out what else she played in, because I'm sure she, she was in a couple TV shows and find out who she was in dresses like that. I'm this character from Law and Order or Actually, whatever the fuck. If I was gonna dress up, I'd be fucking Susie Q. <laughs> you know, you remember that? 
It played on Disney. Disney. Nope. Cat is trying to listen to Credence Clearwater Revival. No. Oh, was she in that? Yeah. She was like the main character. She had died at the very beginning. That's a great Disney show. But yeah, there's Susie Q right here. That dude was in a bunch of stuff too. He was a bunch of like TGIF sitcom era. I think she died on her prom night or something. And that's why she's like dressed like that throughout the whole movie. Did you ever see the show on TGIF that was like a dude and his best friend, but his best friend dies and he's like an angel? And it's like a sitcom. I feel like I remember seeing it, but I don't think I think I it ran for like it. one season. I don't even know what it's called. My dead buddy or something. I don't know. Oh, and you should dress up as this dude with his jacket. Hell no. Dude, it's like a alternate universe Jonathan Taylor Thomas. to do the teleports. Yeah, they bought her and uh, Jason back for uh, Power Rangers Turbo the movie. They got kidnapped by uh, Deatrix, whatever the fuck her name was, the main villain. I remember she had a submarine. I can't believe she's 47. She's probably early 20s. And oh, it's a picture of her with a Game Boy Color. Yeah. So, those are the only two movies I saw of hers, but she was in a lot more. She was in a, a fairly popular TV show in like the early 2000s, I would say. Mm, 2000s, Pursuit of Happiness kind of sounds familiar, but I can't really call it. Liars Club, Interstate 60, Infested, Adjusting Barbie, Islander. Look up the TGIF lineup. Find that dead kid show. I bet Wikipedia has the entire lineup from beginning to end. I remember Step by Step being part of it. And Family Matters. And Boy Meets World. Okay, so we got Webster. The you, ain't gotta be, you ain't gotta start at 85. I'm pretty sure it was like 95 when that show was on. Family Matters, Full House, Perfect Strangers. Perfect Strangers. Was That's that not, it? No. I just love oh. the theme song of Perfect Strangers. Sabrina the Teenage Witch, Two of a Kind. Was it Two of a Kind? No. That wasn't it. Boy Meets World. America's Funniest Home video, Videos, 2000 A Girl. Teen Angel. There it is. Right here. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can't remember I didn't watch it. Oh, I definitely don't remember that graphic. Yeah, he, he wore all white. But it was just like a regular sitcom, but it just had a character that only one guy could see. He dies from eating a six-month-old hamburger from under Steve's bed. That's great. <laughs> wow. How many episodes? <coughs> One season. 17 episodes. Why do I remember that shit? What was the run, what was the runtime? What was the, the dates? September 96. Hold on. You went past it. September 96, 1997. Get back up. It says original release. Oh, I was looking at the top. February 13th, 98. Yep, that sounds about right. God, what a dumb show. We got some weird blackface going on on Zack here. Did I really have to emphasize his lips so much?
pretty sure the last fight's on the moon. What you think? On the moon? Yeah. Man, if I hadn't spent so much money today, I'd buy that Pink Ranger costume. <coughs> you bought me a costume? I didn't need no costume. Just formal clothing. Dumb as shit. Clothes are so stupid. They really are. Why is it so goddamn expensive? I don't know. It's kind of ridiculous. Do we think? Yep. It's in the box! Chicken! Chicken! That was a big ass percolating. I like your kick. I like it when he, he landed three hit kind of he does that. It's that little spin kick, hurricane kick type thing. Handstand, hurricane kick. Oh yeah, what's your daily shirt? I know I wanted to see. Oh, it's Mother's Day. I wonder if they do it. They'll probably do uh, a uh, mother shirt, like an Earthbound shirt. That's an Earthbound shirt right there. Is it? I don't recognize that. You never played the game. That one is too. What's on Sunday? Oh yeah, there's a. Oh, I saw Metroid and. Uh, Earthbound related. Because Samus is the mother of a Metroid. Oh, I was getting ready to say, what is that about? Or a, a Metroid, a baby Metroid thinks it's his mom. It's mom. The boss of this level isn't a big eyeball monster. The Yeti shirt I got you for <coughs> your birthday was a daily thing. Was it? I've been checking it ever since. It's really nice. Yep, there's the eyeball monster. Whoa, that thing's cool. I like that. seen a Power Ranger crawl before? No, not really. I don't think I have. He looks kind of gray. Wouldn't you say? Are you trying to rhyme? No. God. Are you going to buy me Earthbound? Uh, do you want to spend 200 plus dollars on me? Yeah. You can buy me Mega Man X3. How much is it? $200. I want that shirt that says Super Dome. Actually, I don't know what it I like the design of it. That's it. Now a good time to try to take a drink. Mega Man 7. Mega Man X2 is uh, slightly cheaper. Slightly. I think it's 100. It's like Chrono Trigger prices, I believe. Okay. Okay. 
I need to buy my wild jumping. Look at X2. I was finding a way to do it. Then look at Mega Man 7. I think Mega Man 7 is like 60 or 80. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. A good item can be used for good condition. And they have minor damage to jewel case. Including scuffs or cracks. I don't see where it's a repro. It must be repros. Nine ninety nine for Pocky and Rocky. No, that must be a repro thing. Look at this. Go to his profile. His profile is just trying to feed my kids. I don't know. Pocky and Rocky is not 9 99 Well... Neither is Final Fight 3. Neither is Super Metroid. Neither is Evo. That Evo is that game. That game's fucking expensive. Yeah, he's got everything the same price. Pretty sketch. Are they magnets? Magnets? Yeah, don't, don't people make Super Nintendo or like cartridge magnets and they don't really actually do anything? I've never seen that. Meanwhile, I'm on stage four. <coughs> How many stages are there? Five, six. Cooper, 
Jennifer and Lucy are passed out. Those enemies look the same. Yeah, I mean, when did you see them fight anything but putties or those weird bird things from the movie? It's probably more rare than the game. Wow. I think how many people just throw away the fucking box after they got the game. Yeah, those boxes seem difficult to keep intact. They're like the thinnest fucking cardboard. Show us not a fake, not a repro. What's with the repros? What's in those? Uh, not as much circuitry. Interesting. How do you know that? Uh, everybody knows that. I didn't know that. Yeah. People try to sell repros as authentic. And, I mean, a repro of Mega Man X3 would co probably cost you thirty to forty dollars. The actual game goes for 200. <coughs> That's true. Elevator time. This one's used in the box. That's got a sticker on it though. $300. See how much Earthbound's going. I bet it's about the same price. 200 to 10 to 30. I did not mean to do that. What the fuck? I didn't know that was possible. Mm, about 170. We gotta test out the games that we got today. got done on a, going on a spending spree for a bunch of different things. So if I appear red, it's because I spent all day in the yard. Would you like to breathe? Mm, I would have longer. Okay, didn't want to do it wrong that time. It was another life over nothing. How's it going over here? You're starting to fight some... I was fighting different things earlier in the level. Like robots. Get it! It's a gun!
gotta fight a pirate dog at the end of this level. How do you feel about that? Uh. <coughs> Hopefully it's not hard. Are you nervous? No. I sat down one night and beat this game at your apartment in Greenville. I was showing you what all games are all about, and then I tried to show you and your friend uh, punch out. You're like, this is stupid. You're stupid. You're made of shit. Oh no, something fell on me. It's a fucking steel beam. Just need to get out of that hole. I beat them up slightly easy because <coughs> when they're hard, they're no fun. The sequel to this game, based on the Power Rangers movie, is really hard. Stuff like Maximum Carnage is hard. No one wants to do that. Balls here. This is uh, new. I wish to come up here so I can actually hit him. What am I supposed to do here? There we go. Jesus Christ, dude. Go to boss time. Bite him. Hit me with a knife. Is this your favorite one? What? This is the one where he teleports. No, the guy who teleported was the second one. I mean, he teleports too. Well, this guy teleports. But that, that guy specifically at the end starts teleporting everywhere. You, you weren't paying attention. Nope. I was deep in the internet home. He was kicking my ass. Do you forgive me? Nope. That was cool. It's my, my big attack. Chop, chop, chop. Get him! Don't get hit by the dragons. I'm trying to hit him. You about to die. I don't know. Don't die. Wish I hadn't died for some dumb shit earlier. Get him, come on. That knife thing is the worst. Nah, he ain't dead yet. I'm gonna hit him with my. Don't, don't let those dragons hit you. God, knives. Knives again. Get him! Alright, got him. Not fucking time. Man, you got a sliver. <coughs> That's the way it goes sometimes. A sliver! I don't Those have some are my beer. Ah, that watermelon. 1970. Do you taste it? Yep. Alright. Area 5. The cave. I don't know why you'd come out here as a human and not as a Power Ranger, but I guess that's what makes them Power Rangers and not me.
They got knives and shit. They're trying to cut these teenagers. Uh. Fuck. He recovered too quickly. Get it done! The hell's that supposed to be? That little pedestal. I got swords. Yeah, that chicken. Chicken! One of the cool things about this game is that when you're when you get life beyond your life bar, your life bar just changes color. So you can get life beyond that bar and like it just as you get hit it changes back and then once it's out of that, that's when the life bar starts going down. Oh, interesting. So what's the next color? I have no idea. It's, just, it's a gradient. It's not even... Reminds me of, uh, like, old beat em -ups. Like, I think Batman Returns had this on the Super Nintendo. <coughs> Where you'd fight the boss, and they'd have the same health bar as everybody else. But there'd be, like, five of them, and they'd be different colors. Right? Oh. It's a ninja man. Oh, look at that Famicom one. Or that NES one. I don't know, isn't it cool? Kathy's looking up Game Boy Advance SPs. We saw a lime green one today. I don't think I've ever seen that one. I haven't either. Yeah, we used to see them for about 40. That's what I thought. I was like, am I making that up? No. Let me do Usually they say accessories included and everything. I, I look at the tag. Here. Yeah, maybe we should just buy one in, in the wild. I don't think you're going to find the color you want. I think I see purple ones pretty often. I see blue ones. Deep blue. I see silver a lot. I see that that metalish pink. I see the purple one. Midnight purple is what it is. This one's $31.99. Does not turn on. Oh. <laughs> you see those big letters? Oops. I didn't have to look at it that long to see that shit. Does it turn on? No, I mean one that works. What games do you want for? What games do I have? I, don't I have know. no idea what games you had for. I still have two Game Boy Advance games floating around in this house. It's Final Fantasy V and Final Fantasy VI. I'm gonna ask Graham. laser thing going on here. God damn it. This really sucks. Right, that might be health. It is. How's your progress looking? Um, get my ass kicked. I may need another one. Another beer. Um, if you're going, get me one. Okay. I mean, like, are you almost done? Probably more like Probably <coughs> at the most two. Nah, we'll make it. Huh? I'll go get us a view. Do you want the same one? Ah, uh, sure. The other ones probably aren't even cold. No, we're near it. Yeah, we got a sweet potato beer. It was on the warm shelf, so it's not cold yet. Oh. 
some type of headquarters here. I don't remember this one, should. Laser dude is really bumming me out. I don't remember that at all. I need to kill that thing. <laughs> or it will just shoot me. I can't just beat the door open. So we got Ninja Man in this level? I don't remember him at all. Uh, kind of uh, stingy on extra lives. Let's go play through most of the game and haven't got an extra life. Yet. Green Putties are my least favorite. Hoppy, hoppy, jumpy, jumpy, kiki, kiki. Oh, yeah. A little bit of fun. I did no. a little bit of the... Come here. Get back in here. Come on. If we do get a <coughs> Game Boy Advance SP, which I'm sure we will at some point. Yeah, we will. I do not want the Mario and Luigi... Uh, Superstar Saga remake on 3DS. I just want the original. Because I like the art style way better than the original. Oh, yeah, I remember this part. Big laser. That was a, um, a game that uh, Chris was playing. He was saying he was trying to beat that I looked up a review of that seemed pretty close. Cool. Actually, that tab right there. This one? Yeah. The review of a game? Yeah. That he was playing. I'd, I'd heard of it, <coughs> I'd never really given it much thought. The RPG? It is. We need it then. Now you don't really get it. Rudrox? As a repro. I want it! And I want all the time. Can I have it? Um, you're not a big enough Sailor Moon thing. I just got a Sailor Moon tattoo. I have a Sailor Moon backdrop. My phone. I have a Sailor Jupiter costume in my closet. Costume? <laughs> I don't know who taught you to talk like that? That's my defense. Yeah, a costume. A costume. And. Not a costume. Oh. I have the. All the episodes, the DVDs on my wish list. On my Amazon. Oh, your wish list. You don't have them actually. No, I don't. They're really expensive, but I want them. I don't know what I wish this. I don't know where this whole high tech thing came from. Maybe I missed that episode. It's all of them. Franny Lopez. Franny Lopez. She bought them. That's like the puzzle game in it. I like puzzle games. I saw one that was story based. Really. Yeah, they. I mean, they they had like two or three turn based RPGs. Yeah, I want those. Next. This one's an RPG. Will you get it for me for Christmas or for my for our anniversary? That's what you want. You're never gonna play it though. Yes, I will. Oh, he's unchanged weapons. He's pissed now. Oh, he went back. Right. I 
I guess when I said one of the bosses teleports, that wasn't being very specific. No. Because they spell teleport. Obviously, they do. But that one spe specifically does a thing where he just flies around everywhere and it's a pain in the butt. I think I got him. Just gonna hit him in the dick. 8624. 8624. 8624. Here we go. You ready for this? Are you ready? You ain't watching. Sabertooth Tiger. Let's hear it. Sabertooth Tiger. That's not what that is. That's a Triceratops. What is that? Oh, I'm stuck uh, duh, in the water. Uh, 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 Mastodon. Oh. Pterodactyl. Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> Do you remember when we were trying to watch the whole season on Netflix? Yeah, there's like a hundred episodes in the first fucking season. And then we got the Lord's Head. I'm like, I'm fucking tired. It was fun though. We should try that again. Start I did, uh... Season. I was watching, um, I don't know if they're even on Netflix anymore. That was, that was eight years ago. It was. It was uh, a while ago. We were living in our apartment. Also, uh, around that same time, I started watching, uh, a, uh, this dude. It wasn't even on YouTube, I don't think. Because YouTube copyright probably wouldn't take it down. I'm getting my ass kicked. Uh, but he, he did reviews of, like, the seasons, like, or uh, maybe the chunks. Oh, of yeah, seasons, I yeah, he, he was pretty good. He was, he got pretty far, like it's way beyond after I start watching. I don't know what the fuck I'm fighting. This fucking Cthulhu creature. It's HP Lovecraft nonsense front of a nuclear power plant. <laughs> Nothing more Sentai than that. Sentai? Yeah. Doesn't that mean like porn in Japanese? It's hentai. Sentai is the... <laughs> uh, it's like... 2596. 2596. It's what the... These shows were called... Sentai, like they they've been doing this since like the early eighties. Two five nine six. So I think I know the fight here. Yep. That's where I fight Cyclopsis. I think that's what he is. I missed that episode of Power Rangers. I remember being so pissed. I had something to do after school that day. I just remember kids telling me about it the next day. I'm like, man, you fucking tore off Megazord's arm and they had to call in the Titanus. The Dragonzord couldn't even do anything. I was like, what the fuck? All the episodes to miss. Of course I didn't miss the episode where like they fought like the Bee Man and like shot bees out or some stupid shit. Something actually happened to fucking miss it. Rapist. I don't I still don't think I ever saw the episode. I mean we we watched a lot of the episodes on Netflix, but I remember very distinctly not paying attention to most of them. So I don't know what I missed there either. Uh, he blocked it. I gotta fight him again. Gonna beat me. He's on fire. Oh. Oh. Mm. That's not appropriate. So the one her bending over a chair saying "Daddy." Yes. <laughs> that was too Etsy much. Etsy wants that money. Is what they want. That was too much. 
God damn it. Now you got me. Game over. <sighs> Can't lose that much life because I only have one life bar to his two. You can do it. Look up Cyclopses. Power Rangers. He's kicking my ass. I'm doing worse than I did last time. Yep, that's him. Does it say anything about him tearing off Megazord's arm? Did I make that shit up? Yeah, I think so. I made it up? Mm -hmm. We need that Gundam fighting game. On, Gundam wing fighting game on Super Nintendo. Yeah, we do! They watched some of that video you playing Yoshi's Island with Mary and you were channeling me a lot. Doing you're, what? You're definitely being the asshole to her trying to just play the game. <laughs> That's funny because really I went she didn't she played like it's five levels. You know. Yeah, she she played like five levels. And she was doing pretty good. Well, long-time fans will know that I played through that entire game yep. on YouTube, and I went through and I just watched like the first episode, like hearing the way she reacted to things and the way I reacted to things, and she's like, "Oh my god, I love this!" And the same part, I'm like, "I fucking hate this shit." It was, <laughs> it was funny. That is funny. And specifically, that part where you turn into a helicopter in Yoshi's Island, and she was freaking out. She's like, "I love this!" And I get to that part, I'm like, "Fuck this shit." Look, I beat it. It's the beach. Look, they're all on a road trip. Cooper's down, he lost it. <sighs> that Zach face, man, they, uh... Oh, yeah, they didn't do I well. don't know, man. They did not do well there. There's some problems. I would not release this game if it looked like that. Yeah. That's... I'd say adjust. You probably only need to move a couple of pixels. Also, that's like <coughs> the only time you see those sprites. Look. In the stool. Translated. Sorry, mm -hmm. but. Look at that. Look at that. They're no. There's Bulk and Skull. Or there's yeah. Bulk at least. No, Skull's right beside him. Are I, you kidding me? I mean. Me? That's totally him. Skull never stood like that and looked that cool, but whatever. They're tr that's true. Was it Ernie's Juice Bar? Was that the guy's name? That sounds about right. That is about right. I think that's him right there. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, you can dress your bearded dragon up as <laughs> Sailor Moon. That's funny. That's fucking stupid. What? I'm a, I gotta take a snap of that. That's another one off the list. We kept racking them up here. The, uh, I'm going to beat this playlist. gets bigger and bigger. and None of them are non-licensed games. I guess they just made them easier. For the kids. I wonder how many people actually bought that fucking stupid bearded dragon costume. That is the weirdest thing I've ever heard of. It's very niche. It really is. Look at these socks. Those are funny. There's a bib. You need that for the way you eat. Oh. You're an asshole. Oh, we're going to the sky. What we're we gonna see? I need the Sailor Moon ring. Up. Oh. 
She's not dead yet. It's Rita! What's her last name? Repulsive. I knew it. Got some weird code here. What do you think they're trying to tell us? Who knows? Finn! All these are cool the little cameos. That's a neat. <sighs> so that's it. I beat another game. Keep racking them up here. I know. Say goodbye, Captain. I'm gonna play the F10 key. That's what I'm about to play. Gonna hear it. <laughs>